and welcome back to another video so this is the last video in our github series and in this video we're gonna uh, learn about a very basic problem which uh, if we uh, were going to contribute to open source and uh, we will face it that is syncing or fork uh, so what basically happens is like i have forked this repository called are you torrent flutter okay and i have also merged some commits although but after some time this master branch on my fork repository is six commits behind the actual and now it's uh, how how should i make it sync with the original repository so in this video we're going to learn about this and we're going to learn about how to do that in a in the best way okay so one of the possible ways would be to uh, delete this repository delete this fork repository and then fork the main repository again but that doesn't seem a good idea since you know that uh, there might be some branches on which you have done some work and it's never been a good practice okay so the other way would be to create a pull request from this side uh, as you can see i am having a button right here and from the uh, i'll I can just change the origins here like I can just switch the origin here. not from my repository to uh, the original repository I can change it to original repository to my repository but again if I do so then that will come up with a merge commit here you know so if that still is uh, although the code is at the same level but the commits according to the commits it's not at the same level again so this is also not the best way to do it so here is what we're gonna do in such cases we want to in which we want to sync a fork okay so you can see this is uh, the um, project open on my working directory and here i'll just write a few commands okay so first of all let me write get status to check that i should not have um, any of the changes and push changes so yeah i don't have any push changes now i'll write uh, get bull so you can see that it's already up to date according to the fork repository but now i have to pull the changes from the original repositories to my working repository so this is how it's going to be i'll for i'll pull the changes from the original repository to my working project and from that working project i'll push those changes to my fork repository so this way i'll make everything work okay so uh, here is how to do it we'll say git fetch upstream okay so now it's going to fetch every data from upstream okay now you might have uh, on your case it might have shown some error like um, upstream is unknown to us or something like that so the reason is because you have to set upstream like we said the remote origin we have to set the upstream We'll say git remote add upstream and here you have to paste this URL uh, of the main repository okay to go here and you have to paste this URL here okay so once you do that now that it's already like it's for my case it's already exist and if you sh if it shows errors uh, in your case for this command then you have to add this command and then run again the same command fetch upstream now the changes are fetched uh, to our working directory um, and those are on this branch okay so now what we're going to do is we'll say get merge currently i'm in the master branch let me remind you okay merge upstream master okay so now i'll merge the upstream master branch which is already up to date with the origin original repository to my master repository so it have merged everything okay so it's also running pubget because it's basically a, a flutter project okay so i'll cancel this okay now if you see here again so still it shows it's behind six commits because although my uh, local branch that is on my working directory is up to date but i haven't pushed those changes to the fog repository on github so what i have to do is i'll say git push 
okay now let's see so you can see it shows total zero because it's it knows that we are just transferring the commits okay so now the commits have been pushed so i'll refresh the page and boom here you can see this branch is even with cc extractor master okay so that's how you sync a fork and i know this thing will help you a lot while contributing to open source projects and you might have already faced this thing okay so i guess that's all for this video thanks for watching um, you can also join a telegram group the link is in the description okay thank you